Factor 2100 Plus Safety. Hello, my name is Kerry Alcott. Safety. We see signs every day. Sometimes we don't really see what they say. They are warnings that make us aware of potential accidents. They should make us stop and think of what the sign is telling us. We should read and look around for what the sign is referring to. In this class, we're going to stop and look at each sign that you see on a vector. And I will show some examples of what the sign is telling us. Electrocution hazard. Serious injury or death can result from electrocution. Check for overhead wires and obstructions before raising or moving the boom. Do not leave the boom raised while the vehicle is unattended. Do not move the vehicle unless boom is in the travel position. Do not allow the boom to contact the vehicle or any obstructions. Be aware of the vehicle's surroundings before operating any of the boom functions to prevent death, injury, or equipment damage. This scene is of a 24-year-old hydrovac operator that was electrocuted while working along the side of the highway. Do not operate with damaged rotor hose. Do not operate jet rotor with damaged hose or rotor hose that is not authorized by Vector Manufacturing Incorporated. Serious injury or death can result from rotor hose or fittings failing. Frequently inspect hose and fittings. Install fittings properly. This is not a proper repair. Heater hose clamps are designed to only hold 15 pounds of pressure, not 2,500. Repair the hose if you see these types of damage. Hose burst. Cover damage. Blisters or bubbles. Kinking or collapse. Warning, loose hose and nozzle. Serious injury or death can result from high pressure water or impact from the hose nozzle assembly. Use rigid support guard of proper length. The length of the fin assembly and nozzle together should be longer than the inside diameter of the pipe you are cleaning. This is to prevent the nozzle from going up a lateral or doing a U-turn and coming out of the manhole at you. Nozzle support guard types. A fin. Heavy duty fin. Tube extension. A football. Proofer. Here is an example of not using some type of nozzle support guard or fin assembly. High pressure water. Water pressure maximum, pressure 2,000 psi, 2,500 psi, or 3,000 psi, depending on your system. Serious injury or death can result from sudden release of high pressure water. The hose end and the water discharge direction may become uncontrolled. One pressure side water valve must be open prior to operating the rotor pump. The rotor hose must be properly in place before running the rotor pump. Caution. Noise outside cab can cause permanent hearing loss. Always wear approved hearing protection while operating equipment. The vacuum conkle relief valves when open make a loud high pitch whistle that can damage your hearing. The butterfly vacuum relief valve can also make a loud rush of air sound. Wearing hearing protection is necessary around the truck. One answer that will protect your ears and allow you to still hear what's around you and communicate with your coworkers. 
the Sonetix headset are worth looking into. Out of control hose can cause severe injury or death. The rotter hose creates tremendous pressure and it must not be fitted with a reducer or a handheld nozzle or operated outside the sewer pipe. The back pressure created by such an action will cause loss of control and violent movement of the hose and fitting and the release of high pressure water. Do not use improper fittings or use out of sewer pipe. These handheld nozzles are not to be used on a vector. You can lose control of these nozzles by the thrust, and these nozzles are only rated for 100 pounds per square inch. This type of nozzle will blow up in your hands. These are actual pictures from an accident scene. Nozzle and hose after accident. Nozzle pieces that broke off assembly. Nozzle pieces placed back together after being removed from the hose end. The operator's injuries warranted paramedics care. Cutting and crushing hazard. Moving parts can crush and cut. Keep clear when valve or mechanism is operating. Crushing hazard. Serious injury or death can result from falling debris body or rear door. Do not go under a raised debris body or rear door without safety props in place. Debris body must be empty for service work. Raise the box or the door above the height of the props. Tilt the props in place. Shut down and lock out the entire system and chassis before servicing. Electrocution hazard. Serious injury or death can result from electrocution. Check for overhead wires and obstructions before raising the debris body, opening the rear door, or raising optional equipment. Do not leave debris body, rear door, or optional equipment raised or partially raised while the vehicle is unattended. Do not move vehicle with debris body, rear door, or optional equipment raised. Be aware of vehicle's surroundings before operating any of the hydraulic functions to prevent death injury or equipment damage. Warning High Pressure Operating tool outside of sewer line may result in serious injury or death. Sewer maintenance tools operate at high pressure. Positioning tool two feet into the sewer line before operating. Build pressure slowly to ensure the tool is positioned correctly. Turn off pressure source before removing the tool from the sewer line. Vacuum hazard. Cutting, crushing, suffocation, and body rupture from forces of vacuum could result in serious injury or death. Stay clear of the suction hose inlet end. Turn vacuum off before attaching hose, pipe, or accessories. Keep suction hose inlet end near ground when vacuum is operating. Rupture. Keep vacuum tools and hoses away from face and body. Concentrated vacuum on the body such as through a hose end in full contact can result in pulling of organs outside the body or the avulsion of limbs. An avulsion is an injury in which a body structure is forcibly detached from its normal point of insertion by either trauma or surgery. The flesh can be torn off of bone by suction force. Suffocation Keep vacuum tools and hoses away from face and body. Serious injury or death will result from vacuum suffocation. Crushing and cutting. Never attach hose, pipe, and accessories with vacuum on. Forces from the vacuum can trap fingers, hands, and feet in the joint with enough force and impact to crush and cut. Material flow in the system will increase the severity of the injury 
by physical damage and contamination to the wound. Protective Action Use a hose end protector and a hose end with a handle which keeps the operator's arms a slight distance from the end of the hose. An inline vacuum relief must always be used when operating near the end of a hose or pipe. Vacuum Injury Seek medical attention immediately, never delay. Tell the physician of the cause of the injury. Tell the physician of what type of material was being vacuumed at the time of the accident as the material may have entered the wound. Caution: Drive line can be damaged. Open vacuum relief valve. Lowering engine RPM to idle before turning off throttle or engaging or disengaging blower. Failure to open the vacuum relief valve and lower engine RPMs to idle before turning throttle off or engaging, disengaging blower may result in serious engine, transmission, or blower damage. Warning, explosion and fire hazard. To avoid serious injury or death, never use air movers to move hydrocarbons or other materials with a flash point below 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Vacuuming or pumping or pressurized offloading is not permitted unless the flash point of material is 140 degrees or higher. Information decals Rotter pump information Maximum flow and pressure this vector is designed to do. Rotter hose information on what type of hose the vector was designed to use. Blower sight glass location on the blower for a daily inspection of proper oil level. Don't be a blockhead. Chalking and blocking prevents serious injury caused by runaway vehicle, shifting cargo, and accidentally activated machinery. If you drive a truck, tractor, or other mobile equipment, use special caution when exiting the vehicle. Ensure that the brakes are set, the vehicle is at a complete standstill, and that it will not roll forward or backwards before you exit. If you are performing maintenance or parking the vehicle for an extended period of time, chalk the wheels. The above evaluations and or recommendations are for general guidance only and should not be relied upon for legal compliance purposes. They are based solely on the information provided to us and relate only to those conditions specifically discussed. We do not make any warranty, express or implied, that your workplace is safe or healthy or that it complies with all laws, regulations or standards.